Hello YouTube, I'm here and this is my second attempt to do this video. The first one when I try to just do it as an upload through YouTube, um, it cut me off. But I noticed if I just go through my webcam, it, um, it'll keep playing. I just want to come to you. It's about 1227 um, a.m. Um, and I should be going to bed because I have to get my kids up early in the morning to get them ready for school. But God God's business is more pressing than anything um, that there is. I am here with y'all today because I'm going to tell you, I am not a happy camper. And when I say I'm not a happy camper, I am tired of all the lies, all the bull cones. I am sick of it. I am sick of all this fakeness and I'm a, this faking and shaking and all these so-called uh, televangelists that you got some out there that be on point and they, they come speak the word of God and they come for real and if you shut them down they're going to get out there on the street and they're going to go out there and be, be street to, uh, street evangelists so it don't matter but you got some that's all about you know trying to get known and got that itch and tickling in they, they tell you about oh brother and sister sow this seed and oh get this in the name of Jesus and he want to give you this and he want to bless you with a 14 story home. Lies. Don't believe that unless God came to you himself to tell you that. Don't believe that. Now some things are good and God want to prosper some people. But I'm going to tell you something. He never told you to give um, your left toe and your right toe in order for you to get a fingernail to grow. Now I'm just over exaggerating on that. But I'm telling you if you give all your toes you ain't going to have no fingernails, no toenails to grow on it. Now I'm coming to you because... Um, I, I want to give a shout out to Soldier One, um, Soldier of Christ um, One Ten, came up and he gave me some things that's been pondering in my spirit, and I had been uh, complexing on it. It's about the Antichrist, and I just want to. Uh, once he gave that to me, it just confirmed a lot of me. My husband talked about it, and it confirmed a lot of things. And um, I'm gonna give you all the link, and when I give you the link, go to it, look for it yourself, and it's gonna open up your eyes on a lot of things because this is what I've been feeling in my spirit. And when he asked me the simple question, where do you believe that, um, um, who the Antichrist is? And I told him, I believe it's coming out of it, out of the East because that is what the Bible said, okay? But you have to understand, it's going to be explained about the beast and the burden and all that stuff. You, It's going to be explained. I don't want to go there, which will be here all night. And um, I'm not trying to make a five-hour video because I really don't believe it will record that long. I'm not, I know I get I can get about two hours, but again, it's after 12 um, a.m. Um, midnight, and therefore I want to go ahead and get this done. I want to ask you a question. Have you heard of this thing called Chris, Chris where they combine Christianity and, and the nation of Islam together and make it like one religion? Let me tell you something. That's a bunch of crap, and I do not like it. I cannot stand it, and I it is, I'm just going to put it, it's pissing me off. It's pissing me off to the highest of festivity, and I refuse to, to to just sit down and be quiet over it. These people that so-called supposed to, and, he, and God even said in the Bible, Jesus said, even the elect will be fooled. You got some of these people that want to, preachers that want to do the ear tickling, just tickle your ear, and just tell, basically they want to tell you what you want to hear, and then you smile and you give your money over, or whatever. But they need to be out here teaching about the truth, the gospel, repentance, Salvation, calling on the name of Jesus. They want to take out the, the crosses out out the, the the churches. They want to take them out from the outside. Hey, they even taking out uh, some of the Bibles that be in front of the courthouse. You know, the, the nation of the America is built on the foundation of the Bible. But you get some out there. You're forcing your religion. I ain't forcing my religion on you. They took out prayer, in which I was not even in elementary school. When they took prayer out of school, I think I came in about a year or two later when they took prayer completely out of school. A moment of prayer, silent prayer, that a parent can teach you if they, when they had a prayer, you don't have to participate. That is that child, and if they don't want to participate, participate. But some of these kids out here need everything they can get with everything that's going on in school, and you took it out. My children, I had to tell them, you know, and I, I, I tell my kids every day before I live, I say, I love you. You know, y'all the best. God love you. You know, have a great day. And I let them know that. I pray for my babies. I also let them know, pray for yourself. Get a moment to yourself or however. My baby boy, which is uh, nine years old, and my oldest son is, is, is ten. They're a year apart. And let me tell you something. He'd be right there. He wants to be a police officer when he grow up. And he said the cutest thing. And he said, 
when I grow up, if I pull a person over and I give them a ticket, mama, I'm going to say, I'm giving you this ticket because it's in the name of Jesus. I got to give it to you because, you know, it's in the name of Jesus. Or he said, I'm taking you into jail. It's going to help you. It's in the name of Jesus or whatever. He said, I want to tell everybody about Jesus because he know when he was a little boy, he died and God gave him back. He remembers that. My child has a special calling, calling on him. My daughter, oldest daughter, this is my testimony, tried to somebody tried to take my daughter kidnapped her from her she was only five years old but let me tell you something her the bruise marks was on her arm a grown big grown man could not lift my daughter off the ground that was God sending his angels of protection and 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 and, and right there to protect my baby and even the cop that came out the police officer came out and, and in Houston you have different divisions you have the constable you have HPD Houston Police Department and you have the sheriff in the area I was in, I called it out, and in the jurisdiction they was in, I was in the sheriff's department. So the sheriff came out and basically said this, Ma'am, it had to be God that was standing over your baby because I'm looking at the marks. They really tried to get her, but she could not be moved. My daughter was terrified and she was scared, but she knows the severity of it. And right now, she's 15 years old, took it upon herself to get saved because she said, Mama, I want to be a follower of Christ. And she does not use an ounce of profanity. And she cannot stand it around her. Okay? She said, Mom, it's hard when, you know, she said, I'm a teenager and people dating and all this here. But she said, I don't want just anybody that's going to come around me and they're not about nothing. They're not standing for nothing. They don't go to church. I can't have that. That's her decision. Because that's the way I'm raising my daughters to be. To have, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. And if this is the thing, that if you don't stand for, for Christ, you're going to fall for anything. This Christian. Come on now. This stuff, this religion started in Nigeria, okay? And you got two people fighting over, and it's supposed to have been founded in the 1980s, okay? And they ain't supposed to use both the Bible and the Quran as holy texts. There's only one holy text I know of, and that is the Holy Bible, not the Quran. Please go somewhere with that. Muhammad is supposed to have ascended up to heaven. What do he do for you? Tell me what Muhammad did for you. He ain't did a dang blasted thing. And I say dang. Dang. I didn't say no other words. So tell me, oh, you cussing. No, I didn't curse. I, I'm not doing, I don't do all that. Okay. He ain't do nothing for you. He did not take on the, the, the sins of the world. He didn't do none of that. But he's supposed to ascend it up, up to heaven. You better know a lot when a lie is told out there for you. You also better know that the Antichrist and all that stuff, it is the, it is the nation of Islam. Because let me tell you something. What is the one religion that's trying to take out the two main religions that is out there? Okay? The chosen, the Jewish people, the Jews, and the, and the Christians. The followers, the, the, the true believers of Christ. Let me tell you that. The, 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 the nation of Islam been trying to take them out. And you go over there and there's so many martyrs and all this stuff. And oh my God, the things that's going on. That's unreal. You need to do your research. You're supposed to know the time and everything. The, the time and the seasons. You won't know when the Son of Man is coming back. You will not know the day and the hour of time. But he didn't never tell you. ain't going to tell the signs and the seasons. You got to tell those things. You're supposed to be a good watchman of your house and know when this stuff coming. So it won't be caught up like a thief for the night to come up on you. But baby, you got to know these things coming on. You got, um, you got, uh, let's see. Uh, gosh. Gosh Almighty, I gotta go. I'm, I'm on here, going through my history. Okay, you got some things on here that's 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 crazy. I like um the van the van apps. Okay, and they left TBN because Rick Warren wanted to do the Christian and they he wanted to call him out because you're supposed to call them things out. You're supposed to put them out there on blast. You're supposed to call out when they sit there speaking that false, false doctrine. You're supposed to call that stuff out. You ain't supposed to say anything. They, they wanted him not to say no names. He said, no, I can't do that. He said, I cannot be a, 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 a worker for Christ and doing what man tell me to do. He, he was not conveying for man. He was he, He's doing what he's a servant of God, and we all servants of him. We all got to answer for somebody. Even the atheists, you're going to have to answer to somebody too. And the Bible clearly say every knee shall bow and every tongue gonna confess. My thing of it is, I hope you get right before it's too late. We all was, we all sin, we all sin and fall short of, of the glory. Okay, that's in Romans. 
But let me tell you something. Don't be nobody's fool. Don't be a fool. Don't get caught up here with your eyes wide open, but yet it's shut. Don't do that. You setting up yourself for a world of favor, and it's really ticking me off. How can you talk about? It's not the alarm clock that's waking you up in the morning. It's not. It's not the oxygen outside that's actually you breathing in because you can just fall at the drop of a hat. It's not, baby. You got to know when it's God sitting all around you and how good it is. But if you want to sit up here and say, "Oh, uh, oh, there you go, being another fanatical." Yeah, I'm a fanatical for Christ. So go on about your business. I don't care what you think about me. But I'm, I'm, I'm upset right now, and I'm gonna tell you this: I don't like it, and I do not fall for this Christian. And, and and a lot of people falling behind Oprah and that true enlightenment. We all are one. We all under God. We we all at this. Joel Osteen, he fake. And I'm right here in Houston. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what this man do. He opened up his Bible. This is my Bible. He tell a joke. First of all, he got to start with a joke or some type of scenario. He going to tell the joke to break the ice to kind of get you, you know, in, in the mood for him. Then he he tell he say he tell you to hold up your Bible. This is your Bible. This is whatever, whatever. It is who I'm saying. Yeah, blase, blase. He sits there and he never opens up that Bible and read passages out the Bible. He sits there and what he do is his stuff is prepared. And it might not even be prepared by him. Okay? So know the truth. The stuff is he quote a scripture. And it, it and on a lucky day you might get two old scriptures. Oh my goodness. And that's only on a lucky day. Because you got to keep it under a certain time frame. Okay? So, my thing, Holy, Holy Spirit don't run on time, Frank. Not on man's time, no way. When the Holy Spirit is moving, it's moving, okay? He run over there, he give you a little um, reading, a teaching, a so-called teaching out that scripture, and call it a day, take up an offering, and they sing a little song, you out the door. But let me tell you something about, about that church, okay? And it's right over here, off the freeway over here, but y'all ain't gonna know where it's at if you ain't from Houston, no way. Let me tell you this. That man do not sit up there and he don't congregate with none of them people up in there. He don't. He do not have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with none of them folks. He don't do none of that. Okay, you go in there, my friend, went in there. She gave a paid her tithe in there and you got the envelope put the tithe. Next thing you know, she saw her name on there as a member. And I'm looking like, I'm sorry. Yeah, because you paid an offering and the tithe means you was a member of that church. So their membership ain't always their true membership. They membership is sometimes falsified. More than it ain't sometimes. They membership is falsified because you go in there and you pay a tithe because you just that's you so you got the tithe so you pay your tithe right there. And you need to be careful. You need to throw your tithe on good ground anyway. Don't cast your pearls before swine. At least that's what the Bible say. Okay. You sit there and you do that. You all of a sudden you're a member. And I'm looking like really, really, really. I'm just gonna call her um uh, Anna. Okay, I'm just going to say, really, Anna, because uh, it, it kind of rhymes with that, but I'm not going to give out her name. Really, Anna, girl, please, don't go there. I'm telling you, setting yourself up world value, but she's grown. You got to do what you want to do. Now, she have come a long, long way, but, you know, I'm just letting you know, got to watch out for all these fake people. If they ain't teaching the true, full gospel of Christ, and if they ain't teaching repentance, they ain't teaching you how to get yourself saved and get right with Jesus, and if they ain't sit there teaching you about these end times, you could be prepared for the mark and all this stuff that's, that's going on in the world and hey. tell you how to watch out for the watchful times. Be quiet, son. Watchful times. Then, baby, you need to get up and run from that church. Get up and run from that church because that church is a load of bunk. And I'm telling you, it's a load of bull. And you better run because they're in there tickling your ears. But what they need to do is be getting to your soul. Okay? So I'm just telling you this. Y'all, we need to get together as brothers and sisters in Christ and get ourselves together. And for those who's not in brothers and sisters in Christ, reach out there to your fellow brothers and sisters. You might got family members that's lost. You got people, neighbors that might be lost. Stop thinking because you're the only one saved. Oh, I'm only worried about me. Well, God gonna get you too because he ain't, once you saved, you're supposed to sit there and let your light shine for somebody else. So they like to shine. That's how the word of Christ grows. I'm up here getting so upset. My horse, my voice getting hoarse. Baby, let me get on out of here. I want to tell you, peace and peace and blessings be unto you and everything you do. Go with God as He goes with you. Thank you, and y'all be blessed, okay? I just want to tell you, keep your head up, baby. Because, baby, some wolves out there in sheep clothing. You need to be aware, okay? Bye.